What's up guys, Justin here with The Rhino Essentials. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how we can add hatches to sections that we've taken across our models using clipping planes. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so note that this is all using functionality that was added in Rhino 8. So if you do have Rhino 7, this is not going to work. So just be aware of that moving forward. And so the first thing we wanna do, is we wanna take this object and I'm going to, basically this is an object where I've created a bunch of different uh, different uh, things having to do with this foundation section, right? I've got foundation walls, I've got backfill, and you can't really see what anything is right here, but we're gonna use the clipping plane functionality in order to create a nice sectioned view of all this. So to start off, I'm just going to select all of this. I'm gonna type in clipping plane, and then I'm just gonna draw a rectangle across the front surface of this object. That's gonna add a clipping plane in here, which I can move back and forth in order to take a section across this object. So now I'm just gonna double click into this perspective view right here so that we can start adding detail to this. Note that you can kind of move this out of the way if you want to, because it's just taking a clip across the entire um, surface of this object. And so there's a few different ways that you can do this. So there's new functionality in Rhino 8 that gives you the ability, if you go into the object properties um, under the settings right here, notice how there's an option to change the section style of an object. And you can control this in a couple different ways. So you can control this in the properties of a singular object by going into the section style and adding custom right here. And so if you add a custom section style, what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to set what's happening on that face, right? So if I was to set this to be solid and I clicked on okay, what that's gonna do is that's gonna add a solid um, not necessarily a hatch, just a solid color in here. That's not what we want, but that's one of the things that you can do. You can go back into this right here though, and you can add a pattern. And so in this situation, say that I wanted to add this grid pattern right here. Well, notice how when I add that, that's actually showing up in my scene like this. And you can adjust things about that grid pattern. So for example, if I typed in a value of 0.5, then I hit okay. Notice how that's applying that grid pattern to this face. And the cool thing about this is this is applying that grid pattern to this face wherever it's clipped. So notice how if I don't clip on the object, it's not actually going to show up in here. Whoops, I don't wanna do that. Um, but as soon as it clips into this object, then it's going to show up on the surface. Now, note that not only can you do this by object, you can also do this by layer. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the layers function right here. We'll notice how within the layers function, there's an option in here for section style. And so in this situation, like my foundation right here has two objects in it. So what I wanna do is I want to apply, I wanna apply the same pattern to both of these objects. And they're both on that layer, right? So if I toggle this off, you can see how those go all the way off like this. So um, you can see that they're both on that layer. Well, if I go into the section style function right here, remember that these objects by default are set to apply a section style by layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, everything on this foundation layer needs to have a certain hatch. So I'm going to click in here and we're going to go ahead and pick one of these. There's actually not a hatch that I really like for this one. So for right now, we'll just do something like this. We're going to click on OK and that's going to apply that hatch to this layer. Now, if I was to take this slab right here and I was to move it to that foundation layer. So if I change the object layer, notice how now that slab is going to get that hatch applied to it. Now, one thing I don't like about this, if I click in here, I don't actually have a very good list of hatches. However, you can load in hatches in your properties in Rhino. So if I go up to file properties, and I want to scroll down to the hatch option right here. Notice how there's an option to import hatch files. And so if I click on the import, notice how I have the ability to import Rhino models or hatch pattern files. And so in this case, these are PAT files that I've downloaded. And so in this case, I've just downloaded them from a website I found online. It's called cadhatch.com. I don't know anything about cadhatch.com. It just showed up when I Googled free hatch patterns and you can download the PAT files, but you can just Google free hatch patterns as well. But 
say that I brought one of these in. So I'm just gonna double click right here and notice how I can bring this pattern in. I'm gonna click on OK, and then that's gonna show up on this list right here. And I think I can import multiple patterns at once. So if I do a shift click and click on open, notice how I can select all of these and bring them all in. So now I've got a concrete, I've got another hatch pattern right here, like this. And then we're gonna click on okay. And now what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna take this and actually put it back on my slab layer. But now if I click on my foundation right here and I add a style, I can add this concrete style to the object. And so I'm gonna go ahead and bring the size of that down to like 0.2. I'm gonna hit okay to get this to show up. And I need that to be a lot smaller so that it looks like concrete. So maybe I'll bring this in as like 0.005. That's a little much. So you can just kind of come in here and adjust these just like this. So you can see how I can use this to add a hatch pattern to my concrete right here. I can do the same thing with my slab fill layer. So in this case, I'm gonna pick one of these. I'm gonna click on okay. So I don't necessarily like that one. And I could probably rename these now that I think about it. And again, once you've added all these different hatch patterns, the cool thing is this is going to continue to show the hatch patterns like this as long as that section plane is taken across your model. Okay, and so one other thing really quick is one thing you're gonna notice is if you jump back into your other views, this hatching isn't going to show up. So let's say I go into this front view right here. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this to uh, the Arctic. Again, that's just the view I've been using. Notice how it's not taking a section in this view, that's just a clipping plane setting that you can adjust. So if you click on the clipping plane right here, notice how this is currently set where it's only going to clip in perspective view. Well, you can also come in here and set this so it's going to clip in the front view or the top or the right view right here. So if you wanna create like a full on straight on view like this one, um, then you can do that just by adjusting your clipping plane settings and toggling on the front view or the side view or whatever direction your clipping plane is facing. All right, so that's where I'm in this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this function. Is it something you're gonna use? I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.